This is the sour ones. I'm Sprite, and this is our special guest, Kira. What is your role here at the museum? I am the manager of public programs, which basically means the things we do out here on the floor, like at science and at stage, I get to have a hand in coming up with the ideas. Now we eat the candy. Okay. Ooh, this one looks... So this one's oh, supposed to be sour? Chew. Oh, chew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's chewy and sour. Mm-hmm. If the museum had a pet, what would it be? Ooh, my temptation is to say cat because I love cats, but I feel like the museum would probably have something a little more interesting. Mm -hmm. I think the museum should have a pet um, possum. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Gummy worms. I'm gonna get this one. Mm. What is your favorite program coming to the museum this year? This year, wow. Um, the program I'm probably most excited for is what we're doing this weekend mm -hmm. over for Martin Luther King weekend. We're making our own really cool pop-up exhibit where you can think about your dreams for the future and learn a bit about MLK, mm -hmm. but we're also doing a lot of really cool stuff for Black History Month too. We're gonna be learning about all sorts of different African Americans from throughout history who have done some amazing things. Okay, I'm gonna do them all at once. <laughs> oh. That's good. Not quite sour enough yet for me though. Not. Mm -mm. Can you explain your picture? Well, this is for a very special science experiment I was doing. And what you see there is a little tea bag that we've unwrapped and I'm lighting it on fire because the way that convection works and sort of the heat rises, when you light a tea bag on fire, it actually goes up into the air. And it was a science project we did back in Science Bar many months ago for Halloween. And we did it again for a special event. And I just had to keep on trying over and over again because at the last minute the tea bag would fall over and nearly everything would catch on fire and it was like, ah, stressful. But we did it and it did in fact go up into the air after a lot of tries. <laughs> it's a super sour? Sugar. We're getting there. It's, it's sweet. There's a little kick to it. What is your favorite part of the museum? My favorite part of the museum is probably art studio. I love to make art and I love coming up with ideas for new art projects. We just did a really fun one for the holidays where people, uh, guests got to build their own snowmen out of paper, which was really fun. It was a little like paper craft, so they looked like little square, square snowmen, but I, I always love art. So, okay, so we take this off. Oh, open this here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ready? Okay, and go. Oh, we open this. Okay. Mm -hmm. There it is. And so like that. Oh, you fill with the the. Oh. Okay, we're getting sour. We're getting sour. Mm. <laughs> What's your favorite part about your job? It's a hard choice, but my absolute favorite thing to do, if I'm ever like a little in my head or a little tired or a little like kind of nervous. I like to come down and watch the guests have fun. Mm -hmm. I love to, like my favorite part is when I've written something for stage, like a special game or a special activity, and then getting to come down and see the kids really have fun with it. That is my favorite thing in the world. I try and do it as often as I can. So I'm gonna do all three at once. Ready, ah. What is your dream program for the museum? Oh, that's a good question. I would say I would love, love, love to do a special art activity. Cause you know me, I love art. I would love to have a special art activity where guests can like draw the characters for a story and then like scan it in. And then on stage, we'd read a story where all the characters are drawn by guests at the museum. It'd be a little tricky to figure out, but like it's, it's there someday if we're gonna do it. Someday. Cheers. Shall she came in? Oh, these are nice. These remind me of when I was probably your age. They did Twizzlers that were like really short and really sour. They only did them for like a year, but I love them so much. Are 
rainbow. What's your favorite Lord of the Rings character? <clears throat> it's a tough call. I'd probably say Sam because I love Samwise. Samwise Gamgee is my heart. But I do also love Arwen because I'd love to have her vibe and be able to walk through the woods and be a pretty elf. So there you go. <laughs> Ready? Ready? I'm gonna get the red one or the green one. The green one. green is my favorite color and my mm. favorite flavor. Mmm. Mm. Good stuff. I'm still working my way through these also. Mm. <laughs> What's the biggest Lego you've ever built? Oh, um, I haven't gone as big as I'd like to. My goal is someday the the Lord of the Rings, the Rivendell set that just came out. That's that is would be the biggest one, but it's a lot of money. You can't afford it. The biggest one I've ever built is a set called Assembly Square, mm -hmm. and it's basically like three buildings next to each other. So there's like a flower shop and a music classroom and like an apartment and a bakery, and it's all these buildings. And it's, I have it right next to my bed. I, I love Lego so much. Okay, this is gum so don't swallow it. Gum so don't swallow it. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Ooh. It's a very refreshing gum. You made it to the end, Kira. Share, do you want to share what's on your mind? I do. Um, I would love to be back on the show. I, I think I could go some even sour -er 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 candy. And hey, come on down to the museum all throughout February for our Black History Month programming because it's going to be really cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay.